Good morning and welcome to BOTB HQ in Parsons Green, South West London. My name is Christian Williams, the presenter here at BOTB. And we're here this morning to judge the latest Super Drives competition, which ran from the 3rd of August to the 6th of September 2020. And it is an incredible prize, this amazing Monaco supercar thrill. And I'd now like to hand over to our lawyer this morning, Alex Brooks, who will oversee the proceedings. My name's Alex Brooks from Onside Law, and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. Firstly, I can confirm that the competition data has already been sent to the auditors, Wilkins Kennedy. I would now like today's judges to introduce themselves and using the secure link provided, mark on the screen where they think the center of the ball should be. Then at the end, each judge will justify their position and the group will then come to a panel decision. Uh, good morning, my name is Matt Cannon. I'm a senior county referee and footballer and I played yesterday. Hi, my name is Kieran Fitzgibbon. I've played football for more than 30 years and I'm now a senior county referee. Hi, my name is Adam Indonka. I've been involved in football for over 30 years, first as a player and then as a referee. Thanks. Uh, Matt, could you please now talk us through your position? Yes, thanks, Alex. I'm the, the Red Cross in the middle. I, I, Two players in shot. I think the player in, in red, he's got his arms open. He's ready just to come and head the ball. His he's, uh, forehead is furrowed. And I think he's looking intently straight out from, from his head uh, towards his hand for the ball. And the player in, in, in green and white, I think he's looking over his shoulder and doesn't seem to be contesting for the ball, but just sort of more contesting the man. And I've cross-referenced their two eye lines and I've put the centre of the ball where my red cross is. Okay, thank you. Uh, next, Kieran, could you please talk us through your position? Thanks, Alex. Yes, we've got the two players in shot. Uh, the player in red and the player in green are both trying to get towards the ball. I think the player in green is right up against the player in red trying to challenge, but I think the player in red is going to get to the ball first. I think he's going to try and head the ball. We can see a little bit of white um, beneath the pupil of his eyes. Um, so I think he's imminently about to make contact. And I think the player in green is just challenging, trying to put him off making the header. Um, I've taken the eye lines from both players. I think the player in red is looking just more or less horizontally across and the player in green is looking downwards towards the ball and that's why I place my cross where the green cross is. Thank you and finally Ari could you please talk us through your position? Uh, yes Alex um, well I felt that the player in, in, in red is, is leaning forward he's definitely the one who's going, going to play the ball and his, his arms are open uh, he's protecting uh, his, his position over there and he's almost looking um, in horizontal, slightly, slightly, slightly lower than horizontal. The player in, in white and green, I don't feel that he's trying to, to, to play the ball on this one. He's looking, uh, he's quite tall, he's looking from above down. And he's moving his torso slightly to his left. And I feel that he's, with his left arm, he will try to grab the player in, in red prevent him to go further. I don't think he has any intention at all to play the, this ball because the ball, he, feel, he feels that the, the player in red is going to play it anyway. Um, but I felt that the ball should be slightly, slightly further from, from the crosses of my colleagues over there. Okay, thank you. Judges, please now come to a final panel decision. For your reference, the larger white cross is the calculated average of the three individual selections. Okay, bit of a spread, gents. Um, Okay, so th there's a bit of a spread um, up and down. I'm, I'm the lowest, Ari's furthest away, and Kieran's closest. I mean, taking this player here, I, I, personally, I just didn't think he was looking anything other than down because of the way his forehead, I, I didn't see any white below his eyes to, to suggest he was, his head was not tilted forward and he was looking up. But uh, um, again, there's the calculated average. Um, 
which does work for all. And I can understand what people are saying. So um, any more thought, Kieran? I mean, there's the calculated average with the magnifier over the top of it. Yeah. Um, it's difficult to say really, isn't it? Um, I mean, everybody's made their justification. And, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I'm not sure what to say. I'm not sure how to argue my case more than anybody else's, if you like. I mean, I, I, I feel that that the player in green is looking downwards towards the ball. We've generally got that approximately right. Yeah. It's just how close the ball is to the player in red. Um, as you said, he had his furrowed brow. I felt it was a bit closer. You're a little bit further away. Ari's a bit yeah. further away. Where, um, all, all I would say is if I magnified the, the ball here, I just can't see how this player is just looking yeah. up. Well, I thought he was putting his head down. I thought he was just looking at the ball and then he's about to play the ball because he's got the furrowed brow. I just felt he's yeah. about to put his head in there because I think the player in green is right up against him. We can yeah. see that he's right against him. So I thought the ball was imminent, it was closer. Um, and I thought he was just about to you know, put the head into position, looking at it, but then putting the head in position to actually head the ball. Yeah. Um, I mean, I thought there was some white under his eye, and certainly the right eye, well, the right eye as we're looking at it, that eye there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It just his head position for me, it would, you know, I can understand your position, but slightly lower, sort of where it is there, would be... Yeah, I can, I can see that, yeah. yeah. Could be a little, that could be a little bit high, I agree. Yeah, but, but, it, but it's ever so slightly. And that's why I think this average is actually not a bad average, because it is in line. We've we got a, quite a narrow band. Yeah. If, we, if, I, if I put a couple more... Uh, let me go for a, a black you, one here. Yeah, if you try to push like the yeah exactly the cross uh, towards the direction of my my blue one, I think he he, he works well the average on. Yeah, because, because again, that. Kieran's slightly higher and I'm yeah, slightly it lower, so it, so I think that yeah. again with with our judgments, I think it's important always to to consider where the the calculated average ends up because it's actually, you know, it's above mine. Yeah. It's more in line with Aries, and it, 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 it's a very, very good spread. Um, yeah, and, average with the spread that we've got, I think. And, and to be honest, the the cross of Kieran, um, looking at at the player in green, uh, both eyes, he, he's he's struggled to 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 look because he's he's looking above the shoulder, and I don't feel that his left eye is looking towards that direction. I think he's more uh, further away. Uh, if you. That exactly that one uh, i don't think i don't feel that he's looking uh uh that down yeah, so if, if see so that again if i put a yeah. cross through it like that he, he, he i think he he works uh yeah. better than than uh i mean if i if i for argument's sake took kieran out i think again it moves it, yeah. it's in, it's in the same it's but it's in the same trajectory and i so i yeah. think it's important that that the calculated average there actually works for all three of us. Yeah. So, I would, I would rather it was there because I do feel that because they're in, the playing red is imminently about to play the ball. That um, although I can see Ari's line being right, being what he's saying, I just think he's a bit further away. I think the ball yeah. would have to be closer for him to play the ball this quickly. Yeah. But then, but then, even even the if the ball would be that close to him, his eyes, I think he would start to slightly close them uh, because because of the proximity and and the impact. That's Normally, the reaction of players have under yeah. those circumstances, but uh, because we are so uh, there's a, there's a disparity in in the position. I think the average works well. Yeah, the three choices with this the ball there. Are we happy with that, Kieran? Yeah, I think so. I think we have to go with that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Thank you. If you're all happy, then uh, Matt, if you could please hit submit. Thanks, Alex. Thank you very much, judges. The coordinates selected are 1592974. These coordinates will now be passed to Wilkins Kennedy to calculate the winner of the competition, and they will then inform BOTB. That concludes the judging process. Thank you.